Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Today I am asking myself, do we need more milk and honey? Because let's face it, today I will be trying my 50th milk and honey release already. And of course, we all are aware of these, these outstanding official releases, but the fact that they are so good has inspired many independent bottlers to, to bottle their own single casks of this Israeli single malt. Well, I will try to answer this question by uh, tasting this new release by Liquid Art, a Belgian bottler that has just released a four years old, distilled in 2019 and bottled uh, at the end of 2023. This is again at cask strength, and this is a whopping 65.6% ABV. So yeah, this is a, 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 a release by Bert Dexters and his friends of Liquid Art. And a big shout out to Kiana Visses from the, the WECO campus Overpelt, who created the label. She created a couple of labels for Liquid Art. So just a, a big shout out to you, Kiana. You just finish your studies and, and make sure that you're doing it right. Anyway, just wanted to put that out there. Right, so like I said, many, many independent bottles of uh, uh, milk and honey, and I will try one that is well, about four years old, I presume, distilled 2019, bottled 2023 for liquid art. Beautiful amber color, bottled at 65.5% ABV, so yeah, might need some water, but it looks like it's going to start raining any moment now, so who knows, might as well uh, add some rainwater to it. Maybe it's not even needed. Let's find out. The, uh, the Milk and Honey 2019 from Liquid Art in Belgium, a single cask release on the nose. Well, the fact that this is matured on a rye cask is very much prominent on the nose as well. You can detect the rye immediately in, in, in the form of, you know, brown bread. But you also get some gingerbread nuts, some anise, but underneath there's pineapple and peach, some chocolate and brown sugar as well. And that being said, it does remain recognizable milk and honey. The typical DNA is there. I quite like this. Right, on the palate. Mmm. Great arrival indeed. Sturdy, goes without saying. 65.5% ABV, spicy, I get nutmeg, I get cocoa, uh, but, but the sweet notes, they provide a strong counterbalance here, and they make this a pleasantly sweet malt, in fact. It's the same as on the nose, but it's supplemented with apricots, some more cocoa there, something like gingerbread with almond paste, something that takes me back to my childhood, in fact. Quite tasty indeed. It's got this lovely, lovely candy edge to it as well. That really appeals to me. And like I said, 65.5% ABV, but I hope it doesn't start raining, in fact, because it does not need water at all. The alcohol is very well integrated. On the finish then. That finish is, is just excellent. It's long, it's spicy. And it reflects the excellent balance of, of what I had on the palate as well. So, yeah. Yeah, let me just get back to the initial question. Do we need more milk and honey? Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do, because it is excellent. I love their official releases, but the independents, they actually succeed in, in picking up these, these beautiful casks. And well, in this case, you can see this is Shilton. Children Almeida on the on the label, Children, the brand ambassador, that little bit crazy man. I love him to bits, so we were good friends. Uh, he selected these casts, and those were were released uh, by a Belgian bottler as well. And it's going to be a series of, and I'm very much looking forward to it. But yes, yes, we do need more milk and honey because milk and honey creates excellent single malts on a variety of casks. Always very high in strength. It's true. But hey, that's, that's, you know, that's bang for your buck. If it's too strong, add a few drops of water. And if it's a swimmer, it will remain excellent. But this is absolutely a good whiskey. So kudos to Bert and his, and his friends at Liquid Art for selecting this rye cask on which this rather young Israeli mold matured because this is another excellent example 
of why milk and honey distillery is this popular and as long as they keep creating these beautiful single molds i will keep loving them and that's all for this whisk rambling and i hope to see you in one of mark's whisk ramblings real soon and until then may the mob be with you bye bye